Hi guys, it's Michelle Marie Tony and you're there. It's that, uh, that's the day before New Year's Eve. It's actually the 30th of December, and of course I'm at the soup kitchen. This is the last day of for this week, and they will not be open on Thursday and Friday. So I'm just here having a cup of coffee, and, um, you know, and uh, just trying to chill. Uh, so it's the weather, apparently. And it's, um... I looked outside this morning, it was zero degrees Celsius. It will potentially be a little bit of some slight freezing drizzle. Nothing super heavy duty to worry about, but just be aware it could be some slight freezing drizzle. And then I'm uploading our new vlog, which probably by the time you get this, it will be up there on my channel. Yeah. Um, and talk briefly um, about my plans for 2016. And... Um, but, uh, after I hit that video, I checked my newest PayPal statement, and um, I actually could have made a minimum payment of $30. Oh, how nice. I wish I had known that in advance. Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, we will be... I'm uh, still getting my hair done coming up in a couple of days. I can't do anything about it right now. Sorry, it looks like crap. It always does. And it's been a long time since I got this done. Actually, I got it done on the 6th of December. And it grew out like this already. It just tells you how fast my hair grows in the wintertime. Not much you can do about it. You just got to accept it as it is. That's the way it is, I guess. <laughs> now, by the way, I, I, you'll find out that last night's video, I kind of spoofed... Um, Bunny um, Meyer, what she does her, um, it's her favorite time of the week. Does this thing really work? I wasn't trying to be mean. Bunny, okay, don't get angry at me. I just, um, just having a little fun too. Um, but actually, seriously, uh, her name is Grav3 Yard Girl, and she has her own channel on YouTube, and she does, um, product reviews. Um, and I'm, I'm testing of her own, and she does it on for fun, and she loves doing it. So, yeah, I can understand why uh, she has, unfortunately, I don't know if she has a hearing problem or not, but I think she may. Um, and so she tends to have a very loud voice that carries through on the camera. She's also a very spontaneous, very funny uh, person. And I wanted to kind of show you my... Well, a little more humorous side, but and also be kind of sincere. Yes, by the way, the can I can't say eye drops really have made a positive difference. The only problem is, is I'm sitting there a little bit closer to the flag than I usually am. So, but not by much. And I'm just sweating up my glasses. I can see that my right eye just shows some clearing up, but it's uh, the biggest difference is with my glasses on. There you can see the. Um, flag really clearly with my right eye. I am, let's see if we get these things out. I almost crushed the hell out of my glasses. I actually I stood on them. <laughs> um, yeah. You can see the difference. Barely. Barely. It's, 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 a, it's a daily thing. Some days it's clearer than others and no one knows why that is. I think cataracts are basically trying to fight to keep their place like ISIS is and guess what? Um, Everybody wants him to leave, including me. So, um, so the cataracts are losing out on my, uh, the can't see I drops the NAC that, so, uh, net, um, uh, net comma sign is, or NAC I drops are really winning. So it's getting there. Um, and I'm seeing some very positive results. But, it takes a long time, and it's not going to be something you're going to see in five, ten minutes' times, or even five weeks' time, especially if we had cataracts as bad as mine in my right eye. And you would be lucky um, if you keep doing it every morning um, and every night as prescribed, um, by either by your optometrist, ophthalmologist, or, of course, only the package instructions in the box, you may find that your eyesight is uh, may take a long time to clear. Was it cheaper than surgery? It certainly was less risk, that's for sure. If they were to do surgery, um, talking to people who had eye conditions like mine, the results can be uh, definitely very dodgy. I don't necessarily say that surgery is, is totally off the table for some people, but um, the cost and the recovery time for me would not have been very productive. I would never have even considered the surgery. 
Um, because my eyes are, because I'm in the stagnus, it would just been really bad news for me. I would have been in deep trouble if I did touch retina, uh, secondary eye infections, MRSA of the eye, ouch, that doesn't sound so fun. <laughs> um, you know, possibly caused by uh, a bad procedure, a misslip of the, of the microscalpels, um, any potential, uh, side effects uh, could have happened. So yeah, it would have been definitely um, really not so nice. Um, by the way, MRSA is becoming very hard to treat with standard antibiotics nowadays because it's becoming, it's becoming antibiotic resistant. Um, that's making um, surgery, again, um, a very risque business. Um, Something that we were taking for granted, thanks to modern medicine for many years, is the ability to do surgeries to fix problems from cleft palates, cataracts, um, hearing issues, um, cosmetic issues, whatever issues, um, to something that could potentially be a death sentence um, in some hospitals um, are notoriously... Um, behind the curb ball. They're not quite up to code when it comes to keeping clean um, as best as they could. And of course, MRSA is really sneaky anyway. You don't really get MRSA. And that was just, it's just sneaky and and it screws up everybody's lives. It certainly screws up the patients. It makes it harder for the doctors. And since the patients' immune systems are having a hard time fighting it, it's just um, makes treatment for MRSA really um, difficult to do. Um, MRSA is, uh, is related to a variety of ailments, including strep throat. It's actually, um, it's a, it's a very serious infection in the case of MRSA versus strep throat. Strep throat is just, is significant, but it's not necessarily going to kill you. Your MRSA could kill you. Thank you very much. I want to live. I have a few years left. I mean, I have at least 20 years left on my tires. I want to make them last. Um... But, um, yeah. yeah, you know, I'm going to be honest, I, I really am looking forward to the topics I was covering last night and um, um, experimenting with new resources, new technology. I do like to experiment with things. Um, but then it's going to be hard to do that when your whole life is now, uh, has basically been turned just about upside down. I mean, I can do it. But I'm going to have to, you know, um, what was the old famous song that says, um, the impossible I'll do, I mean, the, the difficult I'll do right now, the impossible may take a little while. Well, I mean, not quite that extreme, but, um, the truth is, is that, uh, I got to start putting some money away. I have to really work on that budget and start knuckling down a little harder on myself and, on the, and you know, making some sacrifices, more of them. I've been doing that almost all my life. It's not like I enjoy it, frankly. I really don't. But if you can't change the world's finances because of the situations around you, you know, you just have to do with what you can do. And, um, now, here's another question you probably asked yourself in the video is, why at home does your hair look yellow and yet here it looks kind of white? Well, it depends on the lighting, that's what it is. Right now i got the light on over my head here, so it kind of, the, the, the fluorescent lights here, the, the two, uh, 40 watt on the, the strip lights here, you know, um, make my hair look white. And with my, with my phone here, I bet if I brought my... Um, studio camera up here and I adjust it for the white balance for the light it probably would seem white too um, part of it's just a trick of the light so um, it doesn't mean anything but um, Dory and I like you can guess we spent a good time last night together um, and I was really happy to have her here and made me feel a lot better a little bit more comfortable Oh, we slept in. She came about, um, well, what time did she come? She come three o'clock, I think. And we just said, she just, just cold and bone because she was cold. And she says, it's nasty out there. I said, yeah, I know. Because it's freezing rain and slush. And 
Uh, but um, so we slept in and we woke up about uh, eight nine o'clock at night last night. And so we did um, some videos and ate some dinner and um, things like that. I bought a coffee for us at Cumberland Farms. Um, by the way, don't forget that uh, December 31st, that's New Year's Eve, will be free coffee at Cumberland Farms. Any cup, any size, coffee is, like, free. Um, so if you want coffee, that's a great deal. It includes, also includes hot ch chocolates and cappuccinos and lattes as well. So, yeah, you can have your free drinks I don't know how many maximum you can have a day. I really wish I could give you a definitive answer on that. Because I don't really know, but I wouldn't go crazy with it. There's some people who go in there like like every like every half hour, every hour. I go in there maybe like every three hours, get a coffee or get a hot chocolate during the free ones. And well, when I have money, I'll do the same thing for the non-freeze too. But... Uh, um, Dory mistakenly thought that since today's Wednesday, she said, "Oh, oh, well, I'm supposed to be getting my my my, uh, my my disability check today." I said, "No, not today. Technically, your check might be here Thursday. I don't think it's gonna be here today. I was right. It's not gonna be here today. Um, I don't know where she got the misinformation. It does happen. People do get the mistakenly thinking that because New Year's Day is a holiday." What is the holiday for? I don't really know, okay? And New Year's Eve is like officially is the last work day of the year in this case because it's Friday. And they think that they're gonna get the disability checks on Thursday. No <laughs> Oh no, Thursday, yes. Friday not so much. Um Oh, yes, Friday, definitely. If you don't get your check on Thursday, you know you're going to have Friday. Uh, if you don't get paid on the 1st, yes. If you get paid on the 3rd, yes. Um, because the 3rd is a Sunday, and so that will mean that you'll have your check on Friday. Um, so what about myself? How is my... How, what's going through my head right now? What's my plans for the next year? Well, I did cover the, some of the stuff last night, so I'm not going to rehash everything. But basically, my plans is to, um, I, I want to do some experimentation with some new technology um, for a variety of areas. One of them is I want to save up my money and buy a DMX uh, lighting control unit and a DMX uh, incandescent light relay um, dimmer pack um, so that we can um, get the... Um, the main lights uh, to be on a dimmer circuit, like I mentioned last night. That way we can um, change the brightnesses on the different lights individually. Now, we know that tungsten lights, when you turn them down, they change to an orangey color. Uh, that's not quite the same color temperature as would be for um, the other things. But, hey, you know, you think what you can get, right? But... If I replace those same light sources with an LED source, we know that LEDs maintain the same color temperature from full brightness to almost completely off to just different levels of brightness. Um, there's some inexpensive... Actually, I got one in my apartment already. My problem is it's not big enough for the video work, unless I buy a lot of them. Oh, that's an idea. Um, talking most about the... Um, the... Um, the Sylvania um, LED light bulb I bought, uh, I think it was a, a 9 watt, which is equal to, to a 60 watt incandescent bulb, and it is dimmable, it is a dimmable rated one, and it's under the energy um, program here from the Kinetic Everscrew has offering this, so you can buy it through Olost, and Everscrew is helping to finance it, to subsidize it. Really nice bulb. I got two of those bulbs right now in my apartment. One in the studio and one in the kitchen, which replaced the halogen bulb. Um, really nice, very really nice little bulb. Um, it maintains, I don't never tried it with a dimmer, but it's, it is rated for dimming. I just never tried it with one yet. So maybe I will try one sometime soon. By the relay pack, I'm definitely going to try it. Um, what about um, other alternative yeah, technologies? CFLs? Forget it. I'm not going there. Um, 
Big Clive showed the 100 watt IP65 floodlight, um, and he showed how he is made some plans to make some modifications to his fixture to um, give him some more brightness. And um, one of the problems he says this it was using two 30 watt um, LED pallet, um, driver modules in parallel instead of series. And uh, so the, the, the element was rated for 60 watts, but the, the, uh, the, the two drivers are only rated for 30 watts apiece. So um, pretty cool. I mean, he said, well, at least this was earthed, even though it wasn't earthed very well, but he said it was earthed, and that's great. But uh, so I'm going to... I still would like to consider getting a couple of spots. I want to sell big the hunk of fixtures. I already told you these, these things are big, they're ugly. Um, but he says, if you look here, there's multiple mounting lands on where the light head is. That you can easily put three 100 watt you, um, LED sources. I'm like, oh, now I'm getting some ideas here. Um, he says, you, you want to, you can always replace the parts yourself and make, because he did that with a 20 water. He took the guts from a 20 water out and he put in a 50 watt guts and he made a nice little, um, compact, um, LED workshop like that. It was a little smaller than the original. Um, great idea, Clive. I've got to admit, oh, I love his voice. His voice is so sexy. <laughs> and who was Clive? Big Clive is a, um, Scottish... Um, YouTuber, he's an electrician, he's got his following with people who love his channel, love his voice. He's finding his voice like milk and honey. <laughs> um, really, really sweet guy, I have to admit. I never met him in person, but he sounds like a really cute, he sounds like a real cutie. <laughs> yes, me. Anyway, so, anyway, he's been going through, and he's been talking about the different things, and electrical things, taking, testing things out, mostly electrical, but now he's doing some electromechanical and stuff too. He's really cool. So, I know, I'm rambling. Oh, what do you expect? I only got about five, actually, I got more like 36 hours sleep yet, so I can ramble all I want. <laughs> Okay, well, let me try to kind of wrap it up because it is running a little long in the tooth. It always gets that way, but at least I'm in a good mood. I'm going to be seeing you soon. I, I want you to watch the other video. I'm sure you're going to see this one before. You're going to see that one before you see this one. Please be aware that there may be one more vlog for tomorrow. And then we start with the 2016 broadcast playlist for 2016. And um, and then we retire this one, and um, that's pretty much the way it is. It will be over yet by March, actually May. Actually, it was May, May 2011. I did my very first video on YouTube. It was around. It's so long ago. I can't believe it. Really, um, 2011 in May. It was a rainy, wet, soggy spring. I did my first YouTube video ever, and um, nowadays I've been so I, I've been doing it all those years, pretty much constantly every day, and it's been a long time. And we look at how much we've come from 2011 to 2015. I mean. Holy crap, the technology is immensely improved. We've got a new studio. I mean, well, it's the same studio, just that we've invested in new gear and, and stuff in the last five years. And, and we've been growing so far. And, oh yeah, I still have to do videos with my iPhone. But this is a 4S, not a 3GS. Except, I still wish Apple... You would please. I'm gonna. If I have to, I will gravel on my hands and knees. Please make the compatible iTunes available for PowerPC for iOS 8.3 devices. I wouldn't it really be easy to do? Or why hasn't someone reverse engineered iTunes for us? Okay, Apple. Maybe you don't want to do it, but could someone else do it? Wouldn't that be possible? Some open source guys, you know who you are. Um, the good news is, is I can use my um, 
Blackberry integrates fine with my Power Mac G5. I might. It's it's that's a real shame because I really kind of would like to be able to use my iPhone to do it the work, but uh, more more except for importing videos, the iPhone is just incommunicado with iTunes. I can't even transfer my music collection over. I mean, like that for fun, but then by the time I was done uploading these videos anyway, it's there's no room for fun. It's just packed full of bits, and this is a 16 gigabyte iPhone, so. Could I jailbreak it and change it, um, the firmware? Yeah, I could. Not that I really want to, but yeah, I could do that. But, um, that's got its own nasty problems. I'm not going to go there. Uh, not on my production phone. If I someone got an old clunker that was kind of an old iOS 8.3 phone that was just someone laying around in the gutter somewhere... And it's not, like, damaged beyond repair. I mean, I might try it with it, jailbreak it. But then again, I don't know. It's an idea. Um, but anyway, for today, it looks like it's going to be overcast, and it doesn't look like it's going to be really sunny. And uh, tomorrow will be a little warmer, and then, of course, um, by the end of this um, by the midweek, the next week, the temperatures are going to drop perceptibly back into the colder setting. So... Um, El Nino is um, is weakening as we originally intended. So that's great. I'm glad we got that done. Yes, indeed. So now we got El Nino is going to meet Miss, Miss La Nina. El Nino is going to have a sex change. Yay! <laughs> that's actually what happens. El Nino is a rise in water temperature, but once the water temperature drops below a certain point, he becomes a female. How do you like that? Okay. And this one becomes El La Nina. It's when the temperature goes below a certain indices. Um, all right. So for now, I'm going to let you go. And talk to you guys. Bye-bye.